All right guys, so I have here my camera, which is just uh, my camera and the cage itself. And I have the microphone here ready to go. And I have some other gear like a handle. I have the mount for the microphone right here. And I have some other attachments uh, for an example, like this little device right here. This is the iRig Pre. I'm not sure if you guys heard about this before, but basically what this is, is going to allow me to install a battery. This is a nine volt battery. I just grabbed it from the store right now and it's a nine volt battery. I'm gonna install it in here. And what that's going to do is allow me to turn it on and give the microphone phantom power. So I can just go ahead, turn it on right here and I'll be plugging one end to the microphone and the other end into the camera. The device right here with some cables ready to go because I've used this device before on some other microphones when I need to film run and gun on a lightweight setup okay so this is going to help me be a nice lightweight setup run and gun kind of a situation i don't need no other kind of mixer or some kind of audio interface like a recorder for an example like a zoom h4 or a zoom h6 to record um, your audio with okay so this is what this device is doing but it's just much smaller yes there are some cables so it's going to be a little bit of a cable management and along with that, um, this device right here, the iRig Pre, it doesn't have the best mounting options on it. So there's no really quarter inch threads anywhere. They do have this little part here at the back that we can kind of slide through a little um, strap, Velcro strap and kind of have it mounted onto somewhere. So ideally, I'm going to say that this device right here being mounted somewhere is my biggest concern. That's where I'm going to say the downfall is going to be right now with this run and gun rig. So you want to be able to kind of put it somewhere so it can mount and you can still kind of be free and easy to use and just kind of versatile for your shooting scenario. So what do we need to do? I am interested to get this microphone going. So I want to install this microphone and kind of get it plugged in and I want to kind of get it here to stay. So this is my game plan. This is what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I'm going to install this handle right here. I have two different handles. Usually I often use this small rig handle, which I just kind of used to because it slides forward and back and I just like it NATO rail, nice and easy to take off. Um, but I'm thinking I might use this one and let me tell you why. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this handle at the top here because I'm a fan of a top handle one. Uh, number two, the other reason why is because I know, as I mentioned earlier, being or having somewhere to mount this is going to be a little bit of a concern. Okay, so this little device here, iRig Pre, that's going to help me power my microphone, I need to find somewhere to mount this. And that's why I am picking this handle because I thought I would be able to do this. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I think it would be a pretty good spot to have it mounted. So I got this little uh, 15 millimeter rod. I'm just gonna tighten it up, probably like so. I'm gonna hopefully be able to put this there at the side, somewhere like this, somewhere like that. Looks like it's probably gonna work. And uh, for mounting it onto that 15 millimeter rod, good question. That is why I brought with me, or I need to get is, um, electrical tape and some Velcro. So I have those two options to hopefully be able to mount this little iRig Pre to this little handle. So that is my game plan. Again, as I mentioned, this is the previous handle, which we could simply mount it onto here, the microphone as well, but we're just going to go ahead and mount this handle. So for this handle to actually work here, I need to do some work. So guys, stick with me, stay tuned. I'm gonna fast forward to the end of this bad boy and show you what the finished product looks like. All right, let's do it.
won't believe it. Guess what I just thought of? I forgot to install the battery. Aha! Uh -huh. Did you guys notice? I forgot to install the battery. Guys, <clears throat> I wasn't playing when I told you it was going to be a struggle. I knew the struggle, bro. I knew the struggle, and that's why I told you guys. But uh, you know what? Just because your rig might not look that pretty doesn't mean you don't catch good audio or good a video. So this is my little rig right here. You can definitely see I still have room for a monitor if I wanted to put a monitor because ideally that's roughly where I would probably put a monitor here. All in all, this is my rig that I can walk around downtown where a bunch of people are and crowded little space and I have a camera that can film some good quality content and I have a microphone that can capture some great audio and it looks like a half decent cable management job. I think it came out pretty reasonable. I thought it would be pretty cool to kind of just show you the process that it took to get to where I am right now. So main thing, the main event, Let's just get straight to the point. Main event. Let's turn on this microphone and get some audio. And you'll notice that I face the screen of the iRig Pre. I face the <clears throat> controls here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And along with the gain controls, I have them right here accessible for the camera operator. So that was something else that I wanted to keep in mind. And I will mention, just thinking about it, this is a small or a short 15 millimeter rod, carbon fiber rod. I do have longer ones downstairs and um, I could have even probably shifted this over a little bit, but all in all, it's doing the job. Main thing that we want to get out of here is some good audio and I don't want any problems with my rig falling apart or anything like that. So it's pretty stable. There's nothing going to break or fall off during middle shoot, but I do know that I want to get a Phillips screwdriver and I want to tighten up the screw here on the mount of the MP10. Just so, as I mentioned earlier, it's just a little bit more secure and solid on there. What's going on guys? So here we are outdoors with the Murfak and here we are outdoors with the Murfak MP10 shotgun microphone. And I just have it plugged in here as I've been showing you guys to my GH5. Oh man, I'm monitoring the audio. Just going for a little walk, just trying to capture some of the birds and some of the nature sounds and uh, whatever I got here in this location so i'm just uh, holding the camera in the vlogging format got the microphone right here it's about a foot away from me uh we've been getting some great weather this week here in toronto canada been lucky for that just trying to take advantage of that and i uh, just wanted to show you guys how this microphone's been working right now it's sounding super crisp and clear in my heads in my headphones in my headset and i just been walking around with these headphones and um got a nice little bird over here not exactly sure what kind it is there's two of them oh we got some geese landing as well so that's uh, pretty much why I game I came here because most of the time we got some geese this uh, little pond is uh, usually filled up with geese and birds and it's just like a nice little chill area we have a little dog park over here as well so all in all, just wanted to take you guys along the way. Here's some audio test with the MP10 shotgun microphone by Murfak. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. 